busy show tonight. Uh, we were going to bump the next guest because Herbie Flowers was so good. Um, and I kind of made a decision to bump the next guest so we could talk to Herbie a bit longer. But the next guest has, um, uh, well, uh, uh, got a little bit upset when we said that, um, we were going to perhaps do him uh, uh, later on in the month. Um, so we will, we'll squeeze in as much as we can. It's the uh, computer and gadget expert. It's Stephen Murdoch. Good evening, Stephen. Good evening. I know you're pulling my leg. <laughs> I know you're pulling my leg there, Ian. <laughs> Sorry, oh. th- we're g- going to have to try and rattle, rattle through this as quickly as we can, okay. Okay. S- Stephen, okay. because we just, I don't know if you heard, we had Herbie Flowers on just then. I did. It was, it was very interesting. Um, I actually, we did, we did actually have this date sort of set aside in the diary for you me to speak it uh, tonight. So. Was, it was, as, well, yes, I did say that we, you know, if we get a, a more interesting guest, we will, we will stick with that. And, uh, and it was kind no, of a it pencil. Was, it wasn't quite it's, a pencil. I think it was a heavy pencil. It was a heavy a pencil, pencil, but you can still erase that. Uh, we are, we're actually wasting time now, Ian, if we could get on with okay, it. Okay, well, if you just, it, we'll get on with it. Stephen, you, uh, well, remind me what company you work for now. I'm working for Kilkenny's in Hammersmith. I left ISO Solutions after I was unfairly uh, let go of That's another story. I don't want to get into that now. That's for another time. Uh, that's for, that's, I believe that's a, an impending court case, so legally we can't uh, talk no, about I, it. I'm not at liberty to say. All I will say is that it was not quite as reported in the press or indeed on your show, but where you get your information is your own business. Oh, <laughs> I got it from um, from the head of uh, ISO Solutions. Well, but let's, now we are wasting time right, um, okay. d- dealing with, the, you know, the, 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 the and it is a coming up to a court case, so probably best that we, we move yeah. away from it. I don't want it to cost you any more money than it's already cost you. And by you saying you were unfairly dismissed, when actually um, it was because of um, uh, your your, uh, prison sentence for stalking. No, 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 listen, I'm going to, it's absolutely clear now, I don't care. You know exactly the situation. There was, there there, there was a court case. I I was, uh, I was supposed to, uh, I don't want to get into it now. I think it's best, I think it's best that we, we back away from it. Don't speak to James, speak to me. You want to speak to James at ISO Solutions? That's your, your prerogative. But if you get me on the phone, you speak to me. All right. Okay. Now you've mentioned his name. He's going to email in probably during this. So thanks a lot for that, Stephen. Okay, well, okay. Um, c- uh, cyber bullying, Stephen. Right. So if anyone, by the way, anyone's got any questions about uh, computers, internet, or cyber bullying? Oh eight four 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 nine nine one thousand. Cyber bullying, Stephen. It's we read about it a lot. Um, what exactly is it, and, and why are you so interested in it? Well, it's simply, um, as I just, it, it, it's defined by any, uh, any, any digital means by which somebody is bullied. What we're aiming to do at Kilkenny's and Hammersmith is we've got our own unique app which can censor certain words. Of course, there are many programs out there that will filter profanities, bullying words, so that you or your children can operate without bad words. Uh, cuss off Safari extension, goob, kid mode by Zoodles, and introducing our very own bullproof. Uh, which, Bol- what was that? Bullproof. 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 Yeah, bull- bull is a bullyproof. Bullproof. Why is it not? Well, why is it not called bullyproof? But we're really wasting time. You know, it's well, called bullproof. Bull. Bullproof. Bull- bullproof. Bull. Ball. A bull in a china shop. Ball proof. But, but ball proof. bulls aren't famous for their their bullying, are they? Unless... No, it's an abbreviation of the word bully. When really, I, mean, I don't know why you're wasting so much time. So how does how does um, a ball proof work? What our app does, it, it acts like a filter. You know, of course. So it filters I mean, out certain words. Is that correct? Yes. So, if, if, for example, well, if, if I, I was, might... oh god. If I might, if I might, if I was to tweet to you, um, Stephen Murdoch, shit piss bum bum. Right, okay. I've yeah. just dumped that, I've just dumped that, so the listener at home hasn't heard it, but I, I uttered expletives at you, Stephen. Yes, I know you did, that, that was sort of unnecessary. Um, yes, those words, I mean, for, for someone like me who's into computers, of course, all these have been called, also, been geek, nerd. Uh, no mates, Mr. Lonely, Virgin Till 30, and all the rest of it. Murdoch, no, c- and Murdoch. Uh, words like smelly, ugly, four eyes, gin, ginger nuts, bum nose, uh, poo smell, wee pants, uh, bouncing on, etc. The, the list goes on. Uh, how, how, how much longer does the list go on for? Well, that's my point, if you let me speak. Stinky balls, we- four eyes. 
Yes. Gadget bomber. Oh, she's the blood pencil now. You, you, you got your knob stuck in the VHS. Charlene Stalker, Charlene the Stalker, Just Stalker, Spire Tates, Material Level, Chainsaw, Mascara. Your, your, your mum's the robot off Buck Rogers that used to go biddy biddy biddy. Yes, that's it. Murdoch yeah. the Murdoch, or Murdoch Murdoch, Rubbish Bike User. I was interested in, in in one in particular, Virgin. What? The, the Virgin one, yes. Hello. <laughs> and Hello? where where does that come from? I don't know. That that's not the issue. The issue is that these words are very hurtful. Scrot nose, bum chin, anus, face. You know, it goes on and on and on, and all we do. At uh, Kilkenny, we're going to stop those words going through. And our list is far more extensive than those words that can be filtered in other apps. Uh, Mum who looks like a mom, funny mouth, big eyes, the, the list goes on. Small one, tidbit, teeny weeny, cocktail, sausage, very, very hurtful names. Uh, and what we aim to do is to cut those right out. How does it work? Oh, goodness me. Well, I don't really. <laughs> I don't really have that information now without talking all night. But all it does, it, it picks up certain combinations of letters, yeah. uh, certain sentences that we have predetermined in the computer software, and it blocks them out. And, and blocks, blocks them people. from what? From, from, from Twitter? From Facebook? From, from, right, from all those social uh, media sites and emails. Uh, we're working on one which works on text messages, SMSs as well. Right. Um, I, for, but but th- there is a way around it, of course. Uh, there is. I don't want you to announce it now. Well, but if I were to say, say I were to call you, um, give me one of those again. Uh, hairy mole Steve, Steve no mates, fat back, bum chin, chihuahua nose. Let's do bum chin. Bum chin, okay, right. If I were to just put a space between the letters, would that be filtered out? So it was well, B, yeah, space uh, U, uh, space no, M, no. space C, space H, H space I... I- Space yeah. N, and if you looked from a distance, it would look like bum chin. Would that be well, filtered out? Uh, yes, but I, I, I think you know we, we try to accommodate those. I mean, uh, for example, what was that here? Uh, Harry Mole Stephen, right? You could have a, an H, and then a gap A I R Y, gap M O L E. So it doesn't have to be Stephen. I, I just well, that, let's say with him. So that that would get through, would it? Just by putting well, one space in in a word? No, not all of them. No, not all of them by any means. You know, that's why I'm saying our, our list is very extensive. And we make all sorts of accommodations for, for gaps between letters and between words. What impact does cyberbullying have on people? It's never happened it, to me. It can make you... Well, it makes you lonely. It makes you sad. It can alienate you from your friends and your from your family. Um... You might have to join an agency or ask your friends if you, you know, you want to go out for the evening and just say, please, I need to get out. Uh, you know, I mean, one person calls you scrot nose. It, it can, yeah, of course, they're anonymous. They can do it from behind the computer. Mm, mm. Uh, We're getting some suggestions. Like We're getting some suggestions on Periscope. Um Pobble is right. saying chinny bum bum, chinny bum bum. Chinny bum bum is actually in our, our quarter. We've got that in chinny bum that bum. That will be on there. We're getting some and that's more. that's twice, is it? Chinny bum bum twice. Chinny bum bum, chinny bum bum. Okay, yeah. have got that down, yes. Uh, Lordis is saying, si- very simply, tosser. Oh, no, Steve, again, Stephen, is a, Stephen is a tosser. Right, okay, well. Meat saddlebag, pie face. Meat, uh, meat, meat saddlebag is it. Willie nose, bum chin, <laughs> Well, he knows his, Simon, his knocking, Simon but, Clancy is suggesting Robocock. That's an excellent one. Well, Clancy, uh, I mean, he's, he's contributed a lot to our research. Uh, whether he's been... <laughs> bum, <laughs> bum, bum, rotter, he's bum rotter. Bum rotter. Bum rotter is in. Bum rotter is in, yeah. That's from Alexa. Um, Diana is saying flappy face. Flappy face, no. No, I, I don't think that's that offensive. If you have a flappy face, well... <laughs> I don't think it's that offensive. I, I don't think. Bum sniffer says. Bum sniffer is in, and that's very hurtful. Yeah. Flapper, thunder Pardon? hunt, fanny Pardon? wangler. Fanny wangler. No, I will. Let me just add that. Just add that. Charlene botherer. 
Yeah, I don't want to get into this old Charlene thing anymore. That's, that's done. Um, how much does, does the app cost, Stephen? Where, where, where do we get it? Oh, Dangle Sack. Dangle Sack. Dangle Sack. Sorry? How much does the app cost? Where do we get it? And, and, and... Fourteen ninety nine. Sorry? Fourteen ni- fourteen ninety nine. For an app. Uh, but that will cover... Yeah, yes, that good, will cover all your social media. That's and it. all your, like... Electronic communication. An excellent, um, excellent price, and if it can be a terrible blight on people's lives. Mm. So, um, uh, we're still getting... Gooch, Guzzler, we're still getting people... If you can just stop... Mm, Gooch, Guzzler's a little bit silly, though. If you can just... I do have a subsection of Gooch, and Guzzler is certainly not in it, but... A lot of these I can't actually read out. I mean, I don't even know what penguin vagina means, but... No, I, that's unspecific. That will come under unspecific. St- uh, Stephen, we have got some um, calls for you. Um, I'm guessing dokey. they're calling in about cyberbullying. Let's go to Alan Caddick. Good evening, Alan. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, 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 Alan. You're through to Stephen Murdoch. No, I don't want to talk to Stephen Murdoch. I want to talk about something completely different. Oh, great. <laughs> No disrespect, Alan. I seem to remember this mix-up last time you were on. That, if, you, if you got something to ask no, about... No, first time I spoke to you. No, I believe you phoned last time. No, never. Well, whatever. What do you want to talk about? Is there a question about computing? Is it about cyberbullying? Is it about apps? What? What, what, what's the issue? No, I don't think you know what you're talking about. I think you were stalker with Bob and Charlene when she was in Neighbours. What? Charlene Spiteri was never in neighbours. Alan, what are you talking about? Charlene Spiteri was in Texas. No, I'm talking about Charlene. Who wants to Ka- speak about cyberbullying or computing problems? Alan, do you have a question for Stephen? Because I've got a full yeah, switchboard. Uh, uh, What's the question? On Facebook, have you yes. got on my page in the on talk radio? Because I think you'd be a valuable asset to it. Oh, Alan, stop, you, uh, stop wasting our time. Are you drunk? He's got a joystick in his mouth, it sounds like. Let's go to uh, Simon's on the line. Good evening, Simon. You're through to Stephen Murdoch. Uh, hi, Ian. Hi, Stephen. Hello, Hello Simon. <clears throat> um, I, I've got a bit of a problem with my laptop. Got a what, sorry? I've got a problem with my laptop. I'm Scottish, yes. did you not understand the accent? Sorry, I, I, I didn't hear you. Something about a laptop, yes. Yeah, so I like I like to take my laptop to bed at night to, to watch it right. privately. Yes. And there's a, I, I like, there's a problem with my dongle. For God's sake... Simon, d- d- can you just get spit it out, please, mate? Because d- d- yeah, you've got I've, a problem I've, with I've, your dongle. I've got a What's problem with my dongle. dongle. If I can't get, well, I've sometimes got to push it into a slot, and sometimes right. absolutely, I have to keep pushing it into the slot. Right, that's enough. Just the sort of bully I'm talking about, Simon. We're not we're not having any of that, mate. Absolutely ridic- Simon, absolutely ridiculous. Not having that. Let's try. Let's try, Dan. Dan, you're three. Come on this show. I get a similar. It's, it's, uh, Stephen has come on. It's not getting paid for this. To promote his fourteen ninety nine um, anti bullying cyber bullying app, um, just try and just try and be sensible. Ballproof. Dan, you're th- ball- ballproof. Dan, you're, th- you're through to Stephen Murdoch from Kilkenny Solutions in Hammersmith. Good evening, Hi, Dan. Uh, Hi, Stephen. Um, I think we've encountered each other before. Um, I don't know if you recall. You sold me a laptop on eBay last month. Mm, possibly through through uh, a private private sale, wasn't it? Well, it, it started off on eBay, but you did assure me that you said, you know, you've got this reputation, you're on talk radio, you're, you're a minor right. celebrity. Right. You said, we, we should be able to take it off eBay, you'd be right. able to opt out of the seller fees, I'd get a little bit of a discount as well. No, that's not true. That, it wasn't like that at all. No, you've got no, a problem. Now, you, now you, listen you, to me, Murdoch. You, you delivered me. It, it was not what I ordered. I ordered an Apple Mac. What did you send me? A Mac. The belt. It was it was a Mac, yes, and you'd yes, wrap some bricks in it to weigh down the box. Well, that was a joke. If you don't like a Dan, joke, it's just... Dan, have you got a question for Stephen or, or not? An actual question. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have got a question for him. Where, where does he get off on this? He, no, he not, him. no, not having no, that. I'm not having this. No, I'm not having this. Sorry, Stephen, that was out of order. God's sake. Um, Stephen, we're coming up to the news. Um, right. I've got two more calls for you. Can I persuade you f- to stay around for a bit longer? I'm going to go it's and speak. Sensible. I'm going to speak. Sensible. I'm going to speak to the calls off air just to make sure okay. that they've got valid points to make. And All if right, you've got any questions you. about cyber bullying uh, or anything to do with tech and gadgets, oh eight four 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 nine nine one thousand. It's uh, Stephen Murga from uh, Kilkenny Solutions, based in Hammersmith. I'm Ian Lee. This is Talk Radio. 
Talk Radio. Got a problem with your dongle? Something wrong with your hard drive? Then, uh, Stephen Murdoch, you're the man to deal with it. Is that right? Yes, sir. Anything else you want to say? Uh, oh, so, let sorry. me rehearse. Do, do, let's be rehearsed. Yes, sir. I've got. We, uh, we haven't got time. We haven't got time. That was a complete disaster. <laughs> I didn't know that Herbie Flowers played on this. Did you know that, Stephen? No, I didn't. I, I took the trouble to look him up on Wiki. He's, he's certainly played with all sorts of people. Fascinating uh, guess. Did it's you ever play the um, Pink Panther um, video game on the Spectrum? Uh, many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, are you okay? Yeah, thanks. thanks. You just you, you told me you, you told me to say if you were doing that thing again, and you were just doing it then. Oh, sorry. That's okay. No, no, no. Just I, I know you've got issues, and that's fine. You know, it's, it's, it's no, all no. good. Oh eight four 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 nine nine uh, one thousand. Stephen Murdoch uh, from Kilkenny Solutions, uh, based in Hammersmith in London, is here to talk about cyberbullying and also to take uh, your calls uh, on anything computer and uh, gadget related. We had a flurry of calls during okay, the okay. news, Stephen. Uh, unfortunately, oh. m- most of them. Nah. We're playing silly beggars. Yeah, they were. I don't know what's going on tonight. I've, I know um, there was the premiere of the David Brent film tonight, which I, right. I went and saw. And right. um, maybe that's just... Some people went to that and they're feeling a little bit let down, so they're trying to let off a steam. Gi- a, a bit giddy. Yeah, a little a bit, bit giddy. giddy. A lot of laughs yeah. in uh, the first 15 minutes of that film. So, right. um, And then a lot of thinking for the last 80 minutes right. of the film. Um, okay. so with all due respect, this is not getting us to the <laughs> not getting us to the cheese, so to speak. I wonder if anyone has some questions about uh, computing. I'm not, we, I'm not being rude. We do have we do have one caller. Right. Okay. Who's that? It's um, Gatford. Gatford, you're uh, through to Stephen Murdoch, formerly of ISO Hi, Solutions, uh, now of Kilkenny uh, Solutions in Hammersmith. Hello there. Good evening. Hi there, Stephen. Um, I, I've been a victim of cyberbullying uh, pretty much my okay. whole sort of adult life. Um, AOL sorry, chat hear rooms. That. Uh, MySpace, Bebo, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Instagram, Snapchat—all all the all the different platforms. The, the main ones, um, right? Yeah, the, the main main ones. Ask. Um, I, I, I've even ask. I've even taken to. Yeah, I'm getting to. I'm getting to it. Ian, calm down. No, I mean, no, I mean, ask oh. the, the 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 social oh. media is like ask. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. No, I've not actually got. I'll, you I'll, should you should I'll, join I'll, it. You might you might get bullied on there, but you, you well, should. Yeah. What sort of things are they saying? Um, well, they're being cruel. very particular. I'm, I'm, they're being very cruel. They're, some of the names that you mentioned earlier have been, have been used. Fatford? Um, oh. Yeah, that, that, that one. Yeah, that, that one. Wheat that, pants? Um, yeah. A bum, I, uh, I, wear, bum I wear glasses and I, I can't hear out of one Four ear. And, I'm yeah. sort of, and, and I'm quite big. and yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. Oh, God. Oh, and how, does so that make you, how does that make you feel inside well, as a person? I, it, it's made me feel hollow inside, um, and I've, I've often well, contemplated giving up the internet, but I can't. <laughs> no, you know, because yeah. it's the internet. You can't, oh. you know, you can't live without. Would that you be thing, interested so. in downloading um, ball ballware, ballproof? Well, I'm, I'm interested. I, I, I've actually been seeing a cyber psychologist as well, but wow. all she wants to do is talk about my relationship with my motherboard. So that's not really helped. Oh. Um, and, um, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm, he's, I'm brought, he's, he's brought his own material. Is it sense? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have yeah, a question, Gaffer? Do you actually have a question? I do. I do have a question. If right, I okay. buy your 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 mal- um, uh, program, was it Fat Face or something? Or Bullproof, yeah, bull- Bullproof, yeah, Bullproof. Yeah. Um, can if I still receive cyberbullying, is there any refund process? <sighs> Because it mean well, I, I need something that's going to protect me across the board. Uh, well, I don't think we can. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't really think we can be open to to do any sort of refunds. For I mean, I can't legislate for exactly what goes no. goes on in your life. Um, right. All I can suggest is that you know, if it doesn't work for you, get back to us and we can see if we can make modifications. Because this is an ongoing process with us. We're adding. So, so, so like, yeah, I'm getting the beta thing really yeah. sourced. And the not, thing not is, as well, Gatford, you, you you know, the only way to avoid cyberbullying is to stay off is let me is to stay offline cakes no oh sorry gosh Ah. gosh is to um wow that well that was that will that would reduce one aspect of it but i mean all the i mean you say say, say, uh, from someone that 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 
professionally, yes, it's, it's to be helping people. And previously, let's face it, a convicted criminal to say that I need to lay off the cakes is a bit much. Well, it, it was a joke. It, yeah, but you know, he's got. Hang on, thinking. hang on, Gatford, hang on. Whoa, he's got your best interests at heart. Yes, we know you're a big lad. That's great. Okay, you're yeah. putting, putting strain on your organs. Um, and that would, and I was about to... I don't po- play the organ, Ian. This is ridiculous. I was about to point out that, that if, even if you lost weight, there are still many, many aspects of your character that would be easy to attack you with. Um, so is staying offline an option, Stephen? Uh, it is an option, uh, but, you know, let's face it, we all live by the internet now. It's an intrinsic part of our lives. Um, I, I would like to apologise to Gat for that. That was a low blow. It was no, meant I, to be I, a joke. I'm you sorry. came in. You came in with a joke of your own, which was an anti well, uh, again anti computer joke it's about true. motherboard. It's I was true. simply coming back at you. It's right. well, fair enough. I was simply right, coming right. back at you. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, but it's well, true. Hollow, it is, it, ho- ho- feeling fair. hollow is something you mustn't feel. <laughs> all that often, I'd imagine. Gaffer. Well, all, all I can say, Murdoch, is come back at this. Oh, I think oh. he's showing you the... I've cut him off there. We're not... Yeah, well, uh, well our app doesn't, doesn't really <laughs> legislate for... And that's in interesting, isn't it? I could show... I could send someone a photograph of me making a rude gesture. Um, the single finger, the double finger, um, yeah, the sign for... Uh, the Canadian the fruit bowl. Yeah, coffee yeah, beans. Um, yeah. a, a kebab. Uh, yeah, the kebab. Uh, and kebab. you're a hot dog... A mouldy hot, hot dog, dog with or one of those. You know, when they do, you know, they do it when they push it in between. It looks like a donut with sort of sausage in between. You could have done that as well. <laughs> would your would your app stop? Drop your cheeks open with a pencil, that sort of thing. Yeah, that that would be that would be something you could do. We don't have a leg- can't legislate for that sort of thing. Mm, mm. Um, Lee's in Cranbrook in Kent. Where's Kent, Lee? Kent, Kent. Yeah, it's the Garden of England. Then you know that. Never heard of it. Okay, Lee, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. What have you got for him? Now, Stephen, I followed some instructions on the internet to uh, right. add water water cooling to my PC. Okay, um, and I think I've got a bit of a problem because loads of sparks come out. Um, the water poured oh, out yeah. all the little holes where the fans are at the back. And I'm hoping you can uh, tell me how to put it back together. Can you just tell me that again? What happened? So I, I tried to... Water cool my PC. You know all, all these tech people. They water cool their computers. So I opened up the top. I poured in the water as per the instructions I found on the internet. And well, you can imagine it's not working too well now. Right. Okay. Can I just say something? Uh, this is the second or third time I've been on this program, and and I've I've done my bit. I didn't. I'm not getting paid for tonight. So far. I've, I've, I've had this water cooling nonsense. I've had someone say he wants to put his floppy in a slot. I've had a big f- fat bloke having a go at me, and, and now you. I'm not having a go at you at all, Steve. Yes, you are having a go at me. What are you doing? Ridiculous. We're getting suggestions, oh. and you might be able to let us know if this would work, Stephen. Some people are suggesting that he puts his um, computer in the microwave. That would work, Absolute. wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't idea. work. No? Oh. Well, well, for goodness sake, anybody out there, don't do that. In an oven, a conventional oven? No! I'm going to go now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Put ri- put it in rice. If you bury it in rice. Well, yes. That is, that is not option. Okay. Well, Stephen, um, I think that went better than last time. <laughs> Narrowly. We will put that out as um, a computer um, podcast. And okay. Um, just remind us again of the um, the uh, cyberbullying app and how much it costs and where we can get it. It's from. fourteen ninety nine. It's bullproof and it's available at Kilkenny Solutions Hammersmith. Part of our bullying program, anti bullying program, bully for you. Thank <laughs> you, you have to me. you have to go to Hammersmith to get it, do you? You can go online to uh, okay. Kilkenny's. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, well, uh, Stephen, it's, it's always a pleasure, and um, okay. I hope we'll speak to you uh, very very soon. When's that tag coming off? <laughs> Very funny. I don't think I don't think we'll be doing this again. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> Always ends a little bit awkwardly, doesn't it? Always leaves me a little bit uncomfortable.
Stephen Murdoch there from Kilkenny Solutions in Hammersmith.